Let's get you back in there, Mr. Ribbon. Yeah, I saved. Mainly because it's a different entire time now. It's the next day. Head back around. Because I think I know exactly where to take this emblem. I'd probably save a lot less if I wasn't doing a Let's Play. Both because... both... well, actually, I guess both reasons are our scheduling reasons. One... is just I'm, I have like X amount of content I'm trying to make in a given day, so... I'm switching games and whatnot, which pretty much mandates... Uh, saving and quitting. But also... I would, if I if I didn't have a schedule to output the content on, I'd just be like, huh, I died. Well, time to replay all that. <laughs> and, I, and I would, like, the old me that wasn't doing a show would just, just go back and be like, all right, well, here we go. <laughs> and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Whereas when I die, and if I if I die and lose an hour in this game, I'm like my quota. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why being stuck on a Dark Souls boss for a few hours is extra stressful, because I stick to some kind of idea of making it one episode and not like an entire week of episodes of me fighting one boss. Do it, do it, do it. Ooh, is it? Ooh. I bet I understand this puzzle already. I was waiting for the chance to actually use it. Alright. So, let's look at this guy again. So... The red hand, which is the short one, is going to like 2 o'clock, and the... The long hand, which would be the minute hand, is going to like 10 o'clock. Basically. Oh, uh, Maybe not though. When two runs to show you the best, it looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it. Uh, small gear? Left. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Uh, so I was, I was thinking clock directions because of the orientations of the sword, but it looks like based on the actual face, the four icons we have there, I probably need to make the... I'm looking at it now. The, so the red guy's sword is going through the green guy's chest. And the green guy's sword is going through the red guy's head. So I think the green sword goes to head and red sword goes to chest. Let's try large. Okay. Shit. I'm mixing up which one's which. No. All right. No. I don't- I do not like solving puzzles via text interfaces. Just because it's just such an awkward way to do it. I think that's it. Yeah! Yeah! Will you take the mansion key? Yes. Oh, is it one of those? Ah. Engraving of a shield. I have the shield key and the sword key. And I've used up the armor key. Where was the shield key necessary? Good luck, memory brain. I believe in you. 
All right, well, let's try the one over here first, because it's just the one that's right here. I think this was the helmet key, though. But I don't trust my memory, so instead, let's just try. It'll be really satisfying when we get to the helmet key, because it'll basically be the only one left. So it has to be all of the remaining doors that are uh, one of the four keys. Uh, the one by the typewriter on the right required... It, it said that it had like the emblem of the family on it, so it's like something else. And the one to the far north requires me to get... Uh, it had a clue saying to get the masks of, masks of death, right? And those are the only locked doors in this entire floor besides whatever's going on with the broken door or whatever on the right. So I can mostly ignore this floor. The one in the middle of the screen is the the two octagonal octagonal crests. Uh, that's the mask room. All right, so it's pretty much... Uh, was that shield or helmet? I don't know, but I don't want to go there if I can avoid it because that's I have to go past the aggressive one to get there. Huh. This floor has way more options. Oh, it might go to that room that was covered in spider webs. If I'm going there, I'm getting my big gun. It also might be all the way around the back door. I've got ammo, I've got a healing item. I've got no- i got nothing to burn people with, unfortunately. I'm gonna go the long way. So let's go all the way past the typewriter room on the on the top floor to that locked door and see if that was hopefully a shield door. There should be like no enemies around here, right? My saving grace at the moment. That's the conflict here, is that, well, yes, I've run out of the resources for clearing these guys, but on the other side, on the other hand, they are pretty cleared. <laughs> the issue is that if I get into any of these rooms and something bad happens, they're gonna, they're gonna... That actually made me jump. Uh, if anything bad happens in these rooms, whatever attacks me is likely gonna get back up if I ever have to come back. But if I clear the room and the room is a dead end, then we're good to go. Whoa, I haven't been here for a while. This is the second floor map room. I remember you. Uh, I guess poorly. <laughs> I guess poorly. And I'm wrong about the things. Thanks. So that's a helmet door, that's a helmet door. Where are the shield doors? If I try the local one, I should probably grab my grenade launcher. Because that web, that freaking door is so covered in webs. And I'm always anticipating boss fights, which I've never actually seen and don't know how many there are or how common they are. I imagine there's at least a final boss or something. This boss fights were so, uh, like there was plenty of but there was definitely plenty of boss fights in seven, some of which were great and some of which are a little iffy. Six was just like 70. <laughs> the game was probably like at least 30 percent boss fight, especially the Leon campaign, where the entirety of the time he's in China is just a sequence of boss fights against one enemy that keeps changing and it's just a bullet sponge forever and I hate it. I hated it. <laughs> I really hated it. I just want to sort for a second here. Just because the, the, the list kind of wanders and starts splitting incendiary shells. Could bring back up ammo in case. I've got my healing. So I've got healing, I've got some big guns. We'll see what happens. I think that might have been a shield door. I don't know. 
I can't be wrong this many times in a row, can I? <laughs> I can. It's possible. I've done it. You've seen it. It's easy. Shit, I can't go that way. I keep forgetting which way this door is blocked. I just remember that it's blocked sometimes. And I forget the direction whenever it's most inconvenient for me to forget the direction. <laughs> Well, I'm not crazy into the wait time that's built into every time you use one of these. Oh, it's back there. I'm not crazy into the wait time that's built into using the doors, but I do like the abstraction. The old timey video game-ness of having a weird dedicated door screen. There's a certain like immersion reduction that I kind of like about certain video games. Or instead of trying to be, look like it's all in-universe, just having a doofy door screen or something is kind of fun. Probably because the... The more the games go towards being cinematic and immersive, the less mechanically engaging I find them. It's kind of what I've, what's been a bummer to me about, like, the... The trend of popular Sony platform games, which everyone always wants me to play, as so many of those games are... Trending more towards cinema cinematic and less towards gameplay. That's a very large room. Like, if I was going to fight a bow, I would probably do it in that room. Let's just go ahead and just equip this in advance. Click. You know, just in case. Use the shield key. Yeah. Really? Wow. There's only one shield door in the game? Okay, so I guess I, I get my wish. Every single door remaining is a helmet door or a sword door. What am I missing with the sword key? It's the first one I got. How am I missing? I've just been somehow like skillfully avoiding whatever door this one is supposed to open. I don't think I said no to discarding it. It's just one sad door I could have accessed early in the game that I've not. I don't like this room immediately. I don't like this room immediately. Am I about to fight the Flexile Sentry? Fuck me. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> no! No, Snake Bad. Snake Bad. Snake bad. Snakes are bad. Bad snake. Snakes are bad. Is that trail bad? It's got like a snail trail. Eh. Hey. I found a death mask. Yeah, I will take the death mask. Is he- Oh, he's not dead. The music just weirdly stopped. What? Uh. No. No. I thought, I thought you were dead because the music like kind of stopped. Oh, you, you were... Uh... You were dead? Not, de not dead, but over? Okay. Oh, that was all of the bullets. <laughs> I was about to say, that cutscene triggered right when I was reloading. About to fire my gun again, I mean. So, that was really fortunate that the cutscene cut me off from wasting ammo, but no, I was just out of ammo. Cool. But, <laughs> there goes that. I'm down to my incendiary rounds. Death mask. Without a nose. That's my last one. Alright, well the good news is I didn't take any damage. I mean, all things considered, a giant snake that I can run around in a giant room while shooting with my grenade launcher is an easier fight than most zombie struggles in the game, where I go face to face with a zombie in a tiny narrow hallway and maybe the camera hides his presence until it's too late and... And then I'm trying to figure out what, like, do I shoot or run away and all those other mechanics, because zombies are grabby. All things considered, the snake battle is actually kind of easier, isn't it? 
Hmm. Well, that wasn't so bad. Sorry, Richard. Just you died too fast to the venom. He kind of did it to himself. He was like, I saw the serum, but I didn't take it. I'm like, good job. <laughs> I've been taking everything I find. I'm just going to keep this this uh, weapon on me. I don't know. Uh, let's switch to you for now. I don't know what's going to happen when I... Oops, the painting's where I go. When I do the coffin. But I don't trust it. I imagine... I don't know, whatever it's... it's something's bleeding in there. Maybe a corpse just falls out, but I would imagine like a, a monster comes at me. I think this is the last one. Yeah. Alright, let's find out what this does. The fuck it is. That's what I thought. Um, camera? You want to give me a hand here? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, turn the right way. Ah, <laughs> oh, it fell over. Uh... No. Wait, you're for- You're making me fight one? No. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> nope. Nope. No. BRB replaying all of that now. Damn it. <laughs> I should have stuck with the incendiary. Wow, he takes bullets and can just chase you down. And melted my health, apparently. Damn. Case in point, the zombies are harder to fight than the actual snake boss, apparently. Okay, lesson learned. Our first instinct was right, and fighting those guys with normal-ass guns, bad idea. Pick up the Damn it. <laughs> like, they, they even put shotgun ammo there, and you can't get it before the cutscene happens. Even though you can see it. Not that I have my shotgun with me. Die. Nice aim, Jill. Come here. We doing this? Bleed. Nope. <laughs> Are you dead yet? Just die. Do I do you have to execute them? I don't know. The rules are ambiguous. I don't understand. All right. I just didn't want to waste any more rockets if I didn't have to. Grenades. Rounds. Shotgun shells. Yay, the one weapon that's not on me right now. There's a switch. Press it. That's a switch. There's something here. Oh, that's not the switch. Okay. Stone and metal object? Yes, I will take the, the reason I almost died just now. An emblem's carved in the octagonal object. Okay. In particular, the back of it looks like the impression I saw on that door I couldn't open. That part right there. Yeah. 
Are they hinting that I should use my shotgun? All right, well, that's good news. Making some progress. Even if you don't remember, there's sort of an, like an extra hint in the level design about where to go. Because this door is right here and points right back to the location where you would presumably use that. Yeah. The crest. Dare I just wander right in? What could go wrong besides maybe dying and doing both of those fights again? <laughs> this, this art gallery is exposed to outside nature now. All right, there's a bad guy here. Oh, that's the wrong one. My bad. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. This one. That's the other door that needs to be opened by something, but not here. Please, no dogs. Please, no dogs. There it goes. So do I get that back? The crest fits perfectly in the indentation. You can take it. Okay, I was curious. Because it looks just like the what I probably use on that other door. Am I crazy or is that crest not leaning in the right direction to fit that wall? Like the perspective's off. Huh. What's in here? Ooh. More shotgun ammo. I should really have that weapon on me, huh? Wait, that says eight cartridges. Wait, no. Oh, All these boxes are ripping me off. They all say that they have eight cartridges in them, but I only get six. How do I get over there? Oh, there we oh, oh. Just video game things, am I right? There's a lot of stuff in here. Like a checkpoint. Oh, I didn't see the door. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. No immediate bad sound yet. Oh. Yeah. So this is the path I was seeing over there. Okay, so that, that's the control scheme. It's actually the same control scheme for the map that they used in in uh, Silent Hill. You can press up and down to change floors of one of one map type, and then press left and right to change which map you're looking at. It's just like Silent Hill. Who knows if they used it in the first Resident Evil or not? Well, you guys, some of you guys know. Selection of gardening supplies. There doesn't seem to be anything of use here. I don't know. A shovel could beat a zombie's brain in. Every time I listen in for bad noises. Oh. <laughs> Probably should have just started firing, but I just wasn't expecting... I just, I just saw a hazard and wanted to turn back on it. Uh, it's just a dog. They're not actually that threatening. They just are good at getting me. Oh god, two of them. Stop that. No. No. I swear to God.
you just make a monkey noise at me? Also, did I totally kill that guy all the way? <laughs> unless, unless that guy was already dead, I killed a third dog off camera without noticing it. Oh, cool, I'm out of ammo. Great. Ooh. Will you take the green herb? Yes, I would take the green herb. I want to use the green herb. There we go. I'm all better now. Will you take the blue herb? Yes, I will take the blue herb. What is a blue herb? An herb that grows in wild in this region. Thanks. That's all we get. I think I read about this already in the files though, right? I think this is the one that helps the poison. Botany book. Blue neutralizes natural toxins. So it probably helps you if you don't have the serum or something. If something poisons you. The idea of the thing that fixes poison being such a limited resource is a little scary. Looks like a fountain, but there's no water coming out. So forward direction is unlocked. Other direction is locked. Represented as a giant red square instead of a little one, but that might be just because the gate's big. Where am I going? Oh. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope, not going in the water. Screw you. There's a square-shaped hole here. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm ready for that. Yeah, let's not, for now. Let's avoid the water, if I can. Ignoring any other surprise monsters that might be in there, you don't really want to be in water with zombies, because they could just be in there. They don't need to breathe, generally speaking. Okay. So it seems like two dead ends over here, so the other outdoor path's probably the way to go. But at this point, I think it's time to run back to HQ. The incredibly conveniently located save point. Well, actually, one of them's around the corner technically right now. Just gotta avoid the one zombie. Oh wait, he's right there. Never mind. Let's not go that way. We'll go all the way around to the other one. Sometimes they're like a inch away from being like a pitch shifted golem. Alright, so I need to go back to my base and save so I don't have to redo both of those fights if something goes wrong, but also because I currently would like to have a shotgun. <laughs> Mainly because I have 12 rounds and that thing can kill zombies in one hit so far. If I do it right. That's actually a lot of stopping power, especially since the things you kill with it. If you get the headshot, like, that's good, that's it. The zombie's gone now. That they ceased to exist. Whereas you can shoot somebody over and over again with this gun, and then they still survive. And then when they finally get knocked out, you have to then burn them. Which I don't have any more resources to do that with, so... All the more reason to very desperately avoid that in the future. This is the one? Yeah. I'd rather not spend all my incendiary rounds, especially since the the acid rounds clearly worked on that other boss enemy. I still have four left. I should save those for similar encounters with the zombies that are back. The super zombies. The claw men. 
or any other snake encounters, since the snake clearly left without dying. They're keeping that in their back pocket for a future encounter. Thanks! I love it. Put you away, because we're out of ammo. Do I need to go down those stairs right outside? Is that with a sword key I've managed to not use this whole time? I don't know. Somewhere there's a use for a wind crest and a sword key. Right, you can't load all of it, just that much. Almost forgot. Got it. Sweet, sweet save states. <laughs>